guys, welcome to Drifting Community Channel. It's Brothers Me, it's Labor's Day weekend, Sunday night, nobody's got to work tomorrow, and let me tell you, this cruise night is going to be packed tonight. It's still early, the cars are just rolling in, there's a lot of cool stuff here tonight. I hope you enjoy the video. If you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can stay up to date on all my videos. As always, I appreciate your support. Hope you enjoy it. Got this McLaren, guys. Look at the color. That's beautiful. Look at the interior. Heard him say he just picked it up yesterday. Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, that's just a, it's like a work of art. Look at the air scoops. I mean, just, just fantastic piece of art. It's just gorgeous. Love the wing. Just a great looking car. They're both beautiful cars. This is gorgeous. This is just a gorgeous, rough Porsche 911. Just gorgeous. Look at that. Is this a 911? Is this a 911? I mean, you see 911 turbos, but you don't see them. You don't see them from these guys. I mean, not that often. It's beautiful. Just gorgeous car. just crazy out here tonight but here's one of many Subarus um, just 370Z here's a huh, heavily worked over poor thing MR2 <laughs> it's had a hard life but uh, Hey, he's got a great steering wheel in it. <laughs> so, uh, here's Jimmy's GTI. Everybody's familiar with this. If you're not, you need to check out the many videos on the ITB carb swap that we did on this car. But uh, as always, just love this car. It's just sharp and, uh, you know, all original paint and everything on this car. It's just really nice 200 and some K and uh, my buddy Chris just picked this up to flip it and resell it and of course here's mom's boxster ass and uh, here's a crazy fact I looked these wheels up earlier uh, in the week because uh, we were looking at maybe buying a replacement for one that was had a scratch on it $1,500 a wheel crazy isn't it but uh, I bought it a stripe for Christmas We put that on for her. It's just a gorgeous car. And uh, I love shooting this car. So happy for it. She got something that she enjoys. And uh, almost identical to a 911 inside. And of course the Boxster S decal. Or look. So, and then here's here it is again, driven to compete. Here's my R. If you guys haven't checked this out on the channel, you need to. I've got everything you need to know to go full stage two on one of these guys. And here's my Instagram. And uh, let me tell you, this car is making somewhere in the 450 crank horsepower range. And uh, it's no joke. Honestly, you need to check it out. And then my buddy Dusty's got a uh, golf R here. It's uh, I'm really proud of him because uh, he he had me help him, and we did this roof. Jimmy, myself, and Dusty first time ever doing a roof. I think that lines came out just right on the money, man. So happy that that turned out well. BMW with a wrap on it. It's nice. Stellar performance. Oh, who's 
Everything's here, man. Infinities, nice bends. I mean, just everything's here tonight. Yeah, yeah. Here's a crazy take. This reminds me of back when they, the Vipers first came out and they were red with yellow wheels. This is kind of what that reminds me of. This is crazy. Just, how's everybody doing? Good. Just anything and everything over here, man. Just, you name it, it's here tonight. Euro trash. These guys are all a group that came in together. Get us Miata. And here's something that at least he's smart, he's on a turbo guard. So many kids don't do that. And then they just don't know what you're gonna pull into your motor. But look at that. It's just, wow. That should make some decent power. Honestly, it should make some really good power. It's got some rubber under it, bride seats in it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how he's looking out the back window, but that's kind of crazy truck that came in that you don't see many of anymore and uh, that's a lightning truck pickup you really this is a nice example and uh, just so you can see here he's got racing seats in it and uh, just you don't see these anymore Howdy. hey how's it going good, how are you? good. fantastic look at this setup this thing sounded nasty when it came in, and uh, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if this was wasn't even a 5.0 car. Maybe when it started its life, could have been a six. You know, you can chew anything you want to these cars. They make so many parts for them now, but uh, that's crazy. So here we got a nice M6, tasteful. I like it got wheels on it and uh the roofs i don't know if that's factory or not i don't know these cars well enough to know if that's carbon fibers factory but the spoiler in the back it's just a nice looking car and then right next to it's an a7 another nice looking car with wheels on it and uh i gotta tell you just look at the roof the whole car is just gorgeous i just love these cars audis are just something that i just think looks fantastic yeah so here this guy rolled in i love ctsv guys we we're just telling jimmy they never pop their freaking hoods but you know there's a couple things there there's a nice heat exchanger and let me tell you you don't drive around in one of these okay it's got dh motorsports decal but look at the hoosiers okay and this guy here isn't afraid to run it trust me on that and these things just scoot just typical <laughs> so the story has that these guys are playing and the cobra just barely got the win let me back up here let me show you these guys just you know, this guy's, you don't love coming here, seeing the younger crowd just hanging out, you know, and it's cool how they're all different, you know, here they're all running subies, they're all hanging together, which I just think is so cool because, uh, you know, you need that for this, for this uh, to continue to grow, we need the youth involved. Here's a eagle talon mitts for you mitsubishi eagle folk eagle guys hey how's it going so so like i said the owner's holding the flashlight for me first gen mits mitsu uh basically uh eclipse 
when a lot of the kids don't know that these were sold through Dodge as uh, Eagle as well. But uh, you can see it's a work in progress. And, you know, I, I caught the owner in the car with the laptop making tweaks. And I just think that's it's cool because, you know, uh, just because these are from the 90s, you know, early 90s, doesn't mean that they can't make power because they can. We're about like 340, 360. Three, oh, wow. 340, 360. Yeah. Yeah. And, and if you look, he's got, he's got the tires on it, too. To, you can tell he's he's making some power because he's trying four, to baby. yep he's trying to put it to to the, the ground yep it's, and it, it is all is it all wheel drive it is all wheel drive all wheel yeah. drive so you know guys if you see this out and about you may want to think yeah. twice give because it three beeps. We'll yeah yeah he said give it three beeps we'll go to Mexico yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right stuff I love to see here you got your Civic Type R's parked next to each other and you got an STI backed up and then you got an SI backing in you know i just love this kind of thing and i just think it's awesome that you can have all these different people come together at an event like this there's nobody fighting there's nobody doing stupid shit at the moment at the moment but i wanted to walk around here i'm losing light i'm gonna try to shoot a couple more cars for you for you honda guys i want to check this out for you here you know so you guys can see it here you go guys this guy's owner here was nice enough it's a, it's a beautiful integer it's been on my channel before and uh, he did a k-series swap on this and uh, wow how about it Jim yeah, it's nice. clean that is super clean but I would expect it because we've seen this car before and it's always clean look at this it looks almost schmuck. You know it? Almost looks like a schmuck built intake. Wow. I don't know if you can see the the paint on this. Jim's holding the flashlight for me there, but it's a beautiful car in the uh yeah, in the in the sunlight this car just pops. So and you can see he has it tastefully done. Yeah. That's the No. Funny guys. Spoon. I like that valve cover. Yeah, do you like that valve cover? Look at the size of the <laughs> look at the manifold on the back of this. Wow. You ever seen one that big? That's almost Volkswagen like, isn't it? <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's a gato man. Yeah, I mean, hey. So yes, I yeah. have seen it. Look at that. Oh yeah, this is nice. I bet this makes some power. Oh yeah. 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 Yep. So if you guys are out and about in Central PA and you see this thing with, uh, might not look a little rough, but let me tell you, it probably screams about it, Jim. Yep. I normally do this, but I'm gonna put a Camaro on the channel here. I'm just joking. Yeah, you can. I don't give a shit. We uh. <laughs> We did one, uh, was that a year ago? Two years ago, we did a Pro Charger build on a, a 2010. Yeah. Everything was done in our garage. We just had it uh, roll back and tuned. So, yeah. Who'd you have tuned it? My brother took it to DGR. Where did I get your flashlight? <laughs> yeah. On the internet. That looks great. Looks great. We were checking it out back here, too. He's running slick, so you need that if you're going to make that kind of power in one of these chassis, you need these tires. And yes, before you say anything, Jim, yes, I need to order tires. I need to get something better underneath mine. 